Welcome to Golf at Shadow Hills Country Club, where tradition, rural beauty, and an award-winning course combine for the perfect golf experience. That experience is best when all members do their part to play at a reasonable pace, take care of the course as you play, and being mindful of those around you. Golf at Shadow Hills begins by signing up for a tee time on four tees. You're allowed to sign up two days prior to each daily tee sheet. And if you need help, give the Pro Shop a call. With full tee sheets becoming the norm, sharing a tee time with a single or a couple may be your best choice. It's a great way to get to know members and enjoy the camaraderie that Shadow Hills offers. Four Tees emails are also the best way to be aware of tee sheet delays brought about by frost or weather cancellations, as well as cart restrictions for the day brought about by course conditions and weather. If you haven't signed up for Four Tees yet, give the Pro Shop a call. When you check into the Pro Shop, let them know that you have arrived and then check to see the starting tees and cart path rules for the day. During certain times of the year or during course maintenance, starting on the back nine is common. Cart restrictions vary daily depending on weather. Playing as a fivesome requires approval by the pro shop. Fivesomes are not uncommon, but as with any group, pace of play is imperative. As a golf club with a wide variety of golf skills, as well as a club that encourages family play, pace of play on the course is important. As tee sheets fill up, pace of play can be affected by even one group not maintaining proper playing time. In general, a typical round at Shadow Hills should be played under four hours or two hours per side. There are many times or days when the tee sheet isn't as full and a faster round can be achieved, but weekends tend to be full with a wide variety of players teeing off. The general proper pace of play is to keep up with the group in front of you while not holding up the group behind. If you are teeing off and the group in front is already on the green or on to the next hole, you may be behind. Simple math would tell you that two hours for nine holes is an average of 13 minutes per hole. Letting another group who appears to be consistently waiting behind you play through is one way to show courtesy on the course. However, singles or fast playing doubles have no more rights than a foursome if all are keeping up the pace of play for the day. One way to speed up play when playing with others is to play ready golf. This means that while one or two members are still putting out, something that often slows down play as members worry over putts in friendly competition, other members who have finished can tee off, speeding up the action on the tee box. Don't spend more than three minutes looking for a lost ball. New golf rules allow for a ball that is hit out of bounds or lost to be replaced with a penalty stroke. Don't spend more than a minute or two ball fishing if the tee sheets are full. Move to your ball and wait for the next shot rather than clustering around another player's ball. Don't hit more than one ball per location unless the tee sheets are empty. Practice is okay, but not at the expense of pace of play. Don't turn the course into your private phone booth. If you need to take a call, pull yourself off of the hole and let others play through. If you're struggling with a hole, pick up your ball and move on. Golf at Shadow Hills should be relaxing, peaceful, and stress-free when it comes to pace of play. If you're having an issue with a slow group or being pressured unnecessarily by a group behind, call the pro shop and they'll marshal the situation. Never hit into another group. If you do so by mistake, apologize immediately. Any issues on the course should be reported to the pro shop. Golf at Shadow Hills Country Club should be fun and relaxing for players of all skill levels. Families, guests, and members from other clubs are common, so be courteous, helpful, and welcoming.